Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. We have a preview of the new Drake Cutter and the updated Origin 600i rework for the Explorer and Touring variants. So, the Drake Cutter. Is it the best starter ship? I actually think so, but it's going to be based on price, which we don't 100% know yet. The Drake Cutter is the new straight-to-flyable ship coming out with Alpha 3.17.4 and the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. The Drake Cutter has the largest interior of any of the starter ships. It's built for no frills, get the player from A to B and do a good variety of basic missions and light combat. It has a reasonable cargo bay, but also a living area with bed and toilet and a little bit of storage for your own gear. Then we've got the cockpit. So the cockpit, very tactile experience there. It has that retro drakey, clunky feel, but very cool. And because it's Drake, it's got sort of like components stuck on the outside, it looks like, and things bolted onto it. It's reasonably tough, though, potentially, uh, and has big engines but small maneuvering thrusters, so it's pretty quick in a straight line. It's not particularly aerodynamic, though it's a big box of a ship. I wouldn't, I say it was tough, but I would expect parts of it to get shot off pretty quick when the game's sort of finished, when we have physicalized components. Um, I think attrition is going to be uh, one of the things this ship suffers from. It can fit some vehicles, maybe, probably get a bike in there at the very least. You can fit a buggy in there if you um really cram it in. It's got a good amount of room for cargo. It has large fuel tanks for a starter, so you can actually go a relatively long distance without needing to refuel. Clan Imperium compares it to a tiny cutlass, so that's that's where they're going with this, and it's able to do a good amount of um, different gameplay mechanics. It's got these cool toggleable armoured windows as well, but yeah, a cool multi-role ship for one player to use, a true starter ship. I'm going to be interested to see how much that ship's going to be. Hopefully, it's sort of like around $60. $70. Hopefully they haven't gone, well actually it's a second tier starter ship and $90. It looks like it's got very basic weapons, just a couple of size twos is what it looks like. But for me, I quite like Drake and I'll probably be upgrading or changing all of my starter ships, my Mustang Alphas and my Aurora MRs into the Drake Cutter. Um, just because I, I like it. What do you think of the Drake Cutter? Obviously we'll find out a bit more tomorrow and we'll cover it in a bit more detail, but I'm interested to know what people think. The 600i has had a big rework. The original 600i touring and exploration versions had some issues and have since been receiving a big rework. They wanted to address its open spaces that had no real use and really make it a better looking ship internally using their latest pipeline and tech. The ship is now concept complete, although at least the rework is, with most rooms having a rework. Not all though. The, well, some little minor changes in a couple. Uh, the modular section that denotes what variant the ship has moved from sort of like where it was in the middle to now the rear of the ship. So the center part of the ship is now largely for common shared spaces. The front and mid of the ship are going to be pretty much the same between the ships and um, with the rear section going to be sort of like where the magic happens where um, the ship becomes its variant. You can break the ship down into three sections. At the front you've got the bridge and captain's quarters. These have remained pretty much the same as before. We also have some like new chairs on the bridge. There's a lobby area on the top deck with a small docking collar as well. The opposite side has a lift to take you between its floors and exterior of the ship. Behind that front section, sort of like the midsection of the ship, you have the crew habitation area, a large open communal space, food area and four crew quarters. Below all this is the components and engineering section now and you can expect these components to have changed from the original ship too. Behind all of this is the rear section where the ships diverge. On the Explorer, you have the top deck that has a large armory with suit lockers, weapon storage, tables and seating. Behind this is the hollow globe for use with exploration. The mid deck has a medical bay like the Carrick with a tier two medical bed. That's actually pretty cool. Beside this is a secondary cargo hold, which is meant for the crew to really use for their daily supplies and logistics. The bottom deck on the Explorer has the main cargo hold and garage. This is a much larger a bay than previous for allowing a vehicle here and lots of cargo. There are lifts to allow for external access or a side one to go to the secondary cargo area or other decks. Let's talk about the touring variant. 
that's primarily spread across two decks rather than three. The upper deck has a large lobby area. There is access to a meeting sort of room, an eating area and bar. There are also private guest suites, large and luxurious, but also with their own escape pods. The lower deck has a spa, pool, sauna, bar and kitchen. It's very much a mini 890 jump. The exterior is relatively unchanged. There will be some minor tweaks, moving the hangar bay doors, airlock and escape pods, for example, um, compared to the previous version. The next step is to get the updated ship into production, which requires them to have some free time to slot it into the schedule. Right. That's it for your little ship update for the Drake Cutter and the 600i. The Intergalactic Aerospace Expo starts at 4pm UTC on the 18th of November. It's real soon. It's a few hours away, kind of. And you're going to be able to see the Drake Cutter, the Corsair, and potentially some other new cool stuff throughout the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. So um, we will be covering that in a huge amount of detail throughout the next couple of weeks. But I'm interested to know what you think. Are you potentially thinking of getting a Drake Cutter. What price do you think it will be? Will you upgrade your starter ship if you have one to a Drake Cutter if it sort of meets, meets the price requirements? What are your thoughts on the 600i rework? Did you really enjoy and like the original 600i and its variants? Or do you go, actually, they did need to change them because there were some issues with sort of empty space and really it wasn't a fantastic looking ship internally but whatever your thoughts i'd love to hear from you in the comments below and please tell me if you're going to be picking up any ships during the iae also it's your last chance to get a discount on toby eye tracker the native eye tracking um star citizen -y, facey looking pew, pew, pew. i'm aiming my lasers with my face what am i talking about it's eye tracking and head tracking it's very good but um there's a discount at the moment, 15% off. So check that out. I've got my links below and there probably will be some more deals in the future. Sort of bear that in mind too. Hello, I'm Winston Churchill and I use North VPN to defend the internet empire. We will fight the arts on the beaches. We shall fight on the internet. We shall fight the trackers and the malware. Whether we want to watch Netflix for another country or have greater accessibility to the internet, we will defend our island home. At any rate, that is what we're program trying to do. Thanks, Winston Churchill. What? What do you mean, Zin? That wasn't Winston Churchill. Point still stands. Go to nordvpn.com slash boardgamer to get yourself discounted NordVPN or use the links below. Every month we have a ship giveaway. For November, we're giving away a Crusader Spirit C1. It's a fantastic looking multi-role ship that can fit a vehicle in the back or a load of cargo and it looks really cool. It's got loads of forward-facing weaponry and a tractor beam. As it's a concept ship, though, the winner will have a cutlass back in the meantime as a loner. It comes with access to the game and lifetime insurance, too. So, bam, even if you don't have Star Citizen stuff yet, you can get straight into the game with this. It's all you need. Just comment on any of my videos this month to be in for a chance of winning. A massive thank you to everyone that has used the join button under my videos to become a channel member. And my Patreons, you guys are awesome. And it really does help the channel. Please consider becoming one of those lovely people, too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the verse.